Hey, it's Angel with Angel's Edge. Uh, got an unboxing of a, what is this called? IKIV uh, knife, pocket knife with access lock. Uh, before I get started, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Angelo's Edge for knife content, uh, unboxings of knives, even though I'm unboxing electronics, uh, and just various other stuff with uh, tactical. Sometimes I do some medical or first aid kits, but in general, like it revolves around knives and, and EDC. So remember to uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe. All right, so we got this I. K I V cutlery, uh, the unbox, but looks the box looks strangely like a Kershaw, huh? About that. <laughs> you gotta wonder if this is the company that's making the Kershaw knives right here. Maybe I don't know. It is, and it's uh, and, and if you look at the, I don't know if you read that, it's where they're made, and it shows that city I believe in China that I think makes over sixty percent of the world's knives. So. I wouldn't be surprised if this company is making some of these. But anyways. Alright, so we got this knife here today. And make sure my audio is up high enough. Where are we at? I think it is. I'll just get closer to the camera. I'm jacked up. Alright, I'm got it jacked up as far as it goes. Gotta drink some, some more tea. All right, here it is, the reveal. I've already opened it, but see, it comes in a box, and there it is in a plastic bag. And I opened it and dusted it off already. So here's what it looks like. Closed. Flip side has a, a Benchmade looking access lock. And it flicks up like that. To me, it strangely looks like a. I didn't know it at the time when I bought it. Uh, a Hogue Deca, but for twenty three or twenty four dollars, I think a Hogue Deca is going for one hundred and forty eight right now, which sometimes forty three. And I, I'm not saying I'm I'm I'm. I I didn't honestly like the looks of the knife, but there's a YouTube channel. I, called knife beater i think a knife beater yeah anyways uh he he swore by this at, well i don't say swear by it he put it on a couple of his uh best drop shut lists and uh and it does drop shut i'll show you in a second here's another camera view you can see like maybe a further away but it sure to me it looks like the deca this would on the deca the uh this swoops out a little bit further and comes down but man it looks like it to me uh let's see watch this drop shut so i wonder if i can show it It'd be better to show here see that camera <laughs> you get a drop shut it real nice just it, it came to me it came a little dirty but it still dropped shut i blasted it out with uh some can air uh threw some uh silicone spray in there and then did a little oil i'm gonna sometime i'm gonna have to buy me some pivot oil see if that really does anything right now i'm just using i was actually using uh, machine sewing machine oil and it seems to do all right i don't know i, I would really love to know if anybody knows in comments what the how the that that uh act you know the pivot oil really works but it's like six or seven dollars a bottle so i've been reluctant to buy it because i've just been using some zoom sewing machine oil and i mean it's light machine oil so i don't know who knows I figure it can't hurt anything all right so let's do our count of this well let's go take a look at it on amazon first let's go over here we got i found it unfortunately the the black one's gone now already so if you click here it's uh the ik iv axis lock d2 steel oh, yeah, it has d2 steel uh black see this one's the black actually this is the one i kind of wanted well this one's 27 dollars but if you click it the uh when i went to buy this they didn't have the uh uh the uh, this one right here so I end up buying 
the G10 one, but it was 23. They have an orange G10, which I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know if that really appeals to me, but I'm sure they'll have more in. But if you look, yeah, I mean, it's, it's to me, it reminds. Let's look at the what do they say, D2, D2 steel blade. I can't, you know, I can't verify it if it's D2 or not. I haven't sharpened it, so I don't know. Uh, blade thickness is 2.3. It's a uh, three five. It's a, it's it's to me it looks very much like the Deca uh, model design. Whole knife has a sample, beautiful pocket knife. 3.5 ounces, under four ounces, thick steel handle. You got the axis lock. We use the same axis design. Minch made use a BM two piece ball bearing. Uh, comes in a best you don't really come in a beautiful gift box. <laughs> it's packed with a beautiful gift box. I don't really consider this a beautiful gift box, but yeah, you're not buying it for the box, I guess. Uh, I'm just curious. I'm going to compare it with uh, similar items if it shows the. Oh, look at that. That's kind of. That's the Firebird. Never bought that one. That kind of looks like the same. You know, and it has a few Firebirds to compare it to because mostly it looks like the price. All right. Let's back out. See, I, that's the thing about this. I'll show you something. This is $12.99. So I, this is why I think this manufacturer makes other knives. I'll show you this knife right here. I bought it at Walmart for $7, but a different color. I'm going to come back, let me back out. Now, let's see, remember that, that blue one, or that gray one right here? Check this out. And back here. Here's the, the one I believe they, they sell for $12.99. I bought this at Walmart. But I this knife, it was alright at first, but it's it's got some lock rock, or wiggle but anyways that's a whole other story so back to the uh, the one in hand we got the ik ikiv okay so let's do a measurement on it you can see it start my ruler right here let's see i just don't really need a ruler got this are these are inch increments so one two three four five six seven seven and a half inches long uh, so, and then there's the other side. The blade's roughly three inches. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna do a size comparison. Then I'm gonna show you the. I'm gonna look up the Hogue Deca and show you the similarities. But here's a here's a Spider Co. Tenacious blade shapes roughly the same. Do the back, top, bottom, bottom, the top, so you see. So, I'm, the spider co might be slightly bigger. The blade cutting is the same. So, get rid of that one. I want to uh, check this this uh, K bar, I believe. A little bit bigger. The handle's a little bigger on that one. Come down here, bring it up here. You see, it's a, this, this one's a little bigger. All these knives are slightly bigger, probably by an inch. It's a longer, thinner. Uh, CRKT uh, M16 3KS so it's, see it's, it's bigger too and then uh, here's a, the, the one that's the Firebird that's modeled after the uh, Firebird that's modeled after the Ontario Rat but has an axis lock you see it's a tied bit bigger but not much bigger the handles are a little bigger on these. I got one more. I think that's a, almost a Zach size. But you wouldn't recognize it because I've only seen it once. It's a Remington. Just about that size. Actually, the K, it's like in between these two sizes. So you can see what you're getting. It's hard to show with the camera. Let's see if I can bring the camera down more of a down angle. see a little better it's still there's still always an optic illusion with the camera just because this camera sees it don't mean you it's totally correct that's why it's really nice watching these videos that's why I like watching YouTube videos because you get like a lot of, a lot of different views different perspectives but it has a satin blade 
Here's another close-up, that way you can really see it. Satin Blade Black G10. And not so much a deep carry pocket clip, but really could be considered satin blade. Looks real nice. It all has the blue an anodized uh, hardware. So, listen, I'm going to show you something. Now that I mentioned it, let's look. Go over here. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, watch this. Tell me this don't look similar. See the ba 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 Hoag Deca or Deca. I don't know what it's I don't know what it's technically I mean this is a lot nicer knife, but you're also paying a hundred or here's one that's the here it's not exactly that's two hundred and one dollars. Not what I want. Uh here's one that's hundred and twenty that's, that's not bad. That's really not a bad deal. If, see, check this out. If that don't look like, oh, that's not, yeah, it's a DECA. See, it's regularly $150. Man, that's a, seems like a good deal for that. But this has, like, a lot of different steels, uh, too. But you see the similarities. There's, I mean, it's not totally a copy. But, yeah, that sounds like a, man. I wish I had $122. I think I'd buy that. But anyways. So you can see, I think, where their inspiration came from. Of course, the, the blades are slightly different. Like this is a little bit longer on the Hogue. But check these ones out. These are, this has like that, I think, a C. Some, let's see how I'm supposed to, do they have the, I think it has like a, a really nice steel. This is just, I mean, I say just D2, but this is D2. But yeah, you can see kind of a little. This one's 137. But I could see where. I could I could see it. I don't know if anybody else can. I could see it looks like that. I think they. I wouldn't say copy, but it, it does look similar to me. All right, let's go back. Yeah, so to me it looks similar to the Hogue Deca. I mean, even the box looks like a Kershaw. But I, I bet, I would be willing to bet that this company here, this uh, IKIV, makes other knives for other people. And they just rebrand them and package them. And so it's kind of like if this is true, if that's true, you're just basically buying it from the source. All right. So I think that's about it on this one. It's a nice knife. It drops shut. Oh. So, oh, wrong camera. There you go. So, let's see. All right. If you like videos like this, like, share, subscribe to Angela's Edge. I'll see you later. Bye.